Hello people and welcome back to another lesson. In this one we're going to be looking at things like and things like and other things like that's right we are going to be looking at five finger picking riffs so think of this like a bit of practice for your finger picking. I'm not going to go through the whole tunes just five riffs that you can nail and enjoy playing. Now this one is going out to my buddy um, of many years, Jim Rumsey. Love you, Jim. Loving your work, mate. He started playing the guitar again. So, you know, as many of you probably have in lockdown, and he's got to the point where he's like, I don't know what to play. So I've done a bit of a mixed bag. Some you'll find easier than others, but hopefully enough of a challenge and enough fun that you can just noodle around them. So on with the show. So first up, Street Spirit by Radiohead. Lovely tune. We're just going to go through the kind of intro main riff. And you're going to be playing an A minor chord shape, okay? So that's the open A. Second finger on the second fret on the D. Third fret, second fret on the G. And your first finger is going to be on the um, first fret on the B string. But, but you're also going to have your little pinky on the third fret on the B. Okay, and the picking pattern slowly goes like this. Okay, and then to speed. Now the difficult bit about this is the f they play it with, with plectrums, right? But we're not going to. We're going to use this as a little finger picking exercise. But this is cool because you're going to be skipping over a few strings. But um, the position of your fingers needs to change slightly just for the first bit. So the first bit, I would do thumb and first finger. Then you've got to kind of shift position for the rest of it, right? So go with your third, second and first fingers on the first, second and third strings, okay? And then you're going to play. So your fingers there line up. Apart from the first bit where you go. The next bit, you drop your thumb down. So your thumb's on the D string and the rest of them are on the strings above that, right? So that again. You know that one, right? Now it's obviously played with some awesome chords from uh, Andy Summers, but here's a nice finger picking way to play that riff. Uh, second finger on the third fret on the uh, E string and your first finger goes on the second fret on the G. And then you just use the picking pattern that you see in the tab. Okay, so that again slowly. Then you go to this shape. Second, uh, first fret on the second fret on the A. Little finger I would use uh, for the fourth fret on the D. picking pattern as before. This bit's maybe a bit tricky because you've got to jump over a few strings. 
So just using your thumb and your first two fingers there. And you're going from a C add nine, which is your little finger on the third fret on the B to the first fret there, right? On the B. And then to an, a D5 shape, which is just your first finger on the second fret on the uh, G string. And I'm using my third finger there on the uh, B string, right, third fret. Okay. And then back around. Next up is Mr. Dave Navarro. Love Dave Navarro, he's awesome. Uh, and this is um, my friend from uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, One Hot Minute. <laughs> Just marvellous stuff. Basically, we're moving about now, we've got some different chords going on. So we've got a D5 shape, an F, a G with B in the bass, and a C add 9. Okay, so the constant note there is the third fret on the B string. some fills right so first bit is just thumb first finger second and third thumb then exactly the same with these fingers but you've got that hammer on there from the uh, open G to the second fret double stop and then root note again. Change position. Again. Same pattern, you just move your um, right hand down one string. And then you got this fill. So you can keep the C add 9 shape there, but it's just this first finger that does all the kind of movement. slowly is second to the third and the open D to the second fret on the D and a triplet all right but there's simpler fills you can do so if we take the second half that is just that's always the same. So I'm doing a hammer on. And another hammer on either side of that. That C add nine. So you could play that if you want. That's probably the easiest. But it just sounds lovely, it's a nice roll. Okay. So have fun with that. I encourage you to do those fills. 
this one's a beauty as well. I was going to do the whole of this, but maybe I will. Comment below if you want to see the, a lesson for the whole of this. So that is immense. Jimmy Page, le just a legend, isn't he? So the chords are A minor, that one, which is like an A minor seven with G in the bass, D with F sharp in the bass, F to E. So those are the chord shapes, and basically the melody comes from. like that basically so it's not super difficult but you've got with the chord changes so that makes it tricky to get that in but when you get it it just sounds incredible doesn't it I love it um, and I'm not playing it very well here, so no excuses for you to not be able to play this. So the first one is the... So you hop over the B string there and hit the open E. Okay, so that's the first bar. Let me show you my fingers a bit better. So get that first, so you're taking your third finger, leave everything else and put that onto the onto the G and then your little finger is going to come onto this third fret on the B string, right? So then you're going to play, okay? Same again, but you switch around your second and third fingers. This one moves down to the second fret. Again slowly. And then another melody you can chuck in is. Next up is one of my favourites. That is actually super tricky to play slow, so I'm going to try and break it down to sections for you, but basically it goes... taken me so long to play that slowly it's ridiculous so in a nutshell it's quite an unusual pattern so I would split it into two chunks maybe that's the first chunk okay so you've got the two notes first the pull off from the seventh to the fifth. Doesn't matter if you hit the um, open E. And there's a hammer on from the open D there to the fifth fret. And that bit's tricky because you've got to do that little pull off and the picking patterns are a little bit unusual there. So Alright, 
me try it again slowly. That's the tricky bit for me. Okay, so just break them down slowly until you can play it all together. And the other part that I put in, rather than playing that note there, the B, you hit an E instead. So. The rest of it's the same. The last time round you cut it short. Just a lovely cyclical riff, so stick with that one, you will get it. So that's it everyone, hope you enjoyed those, bit of fun. If you want to see more like this then comment below. If you want to see full lessons for this as well then also comment below. And, or just comment below, say alright, how's it going, you know? Hope you're well anyway, and Jim, hope you enjoyed that mate. See you soon, bye!